This is the Reopoint Miracle 3D Scanner, a fully standalone device designed to make high quality 3D scanning easier than ever. Before I show you how it works, let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Calibration board, quick start guide, warranty card, turntable topper, markers, two magic mats, sample bust, 65 watt dual USB Type-C power adapter, quite beefy USB Type-C to C cable 1.8 meters, scanner, scanner bag, cleaning cloth, wrist strap, turntable, turntable power cable, tripod. Miraco features an all-in-one design with a 6 inch 2K AMOLED display. The screen tilts up to 180 degrees, giving you a great viewing angle while scanning and even making self-scanning possible. Looking at the bottom of the scanner, there are air vents, some stickers with info, a threaded hole for mounting it on the tripod, or you can also attach a wrist strap for extra safety. Anti-slip pads, which keep the scanner stable if you want to stand it upright on desk. There are also USB Type-C port, which is used for charging and can be used to transfer files to PC. On the other side is power button, and on the top is start pause scan button. Front of the scanner is speaker. There are two far mode depth cameras, two near mode cameras, one RGB camera, projector in the middle, 8 infrared fill lights and 2 white flash LEDs. The build quality is solid. It weighs about 750 grams, similar to a typical camera, and it feels great in the hand. It is easy to use scanner. At the top of the screen is distance display. It helps you hold the right distance between object and scanner. On the left side is a depth camera view, where you can adjust exposure manually or use auto mode. Under that is RGB camera view, also adjustable manually or auto mode. You can use it to keep object in the center of the scanner. You can scan smaller or larger objects by using near or far mode. You can choose between two scanning modes, continuous or single shot. There are more good features you can use, like base removal and scanning distance. If your object is sitting on the desk while scanning, you can enable base removal. This prevents the scanner from grab capturing the desk surface, giving you a much cleaner final scan. The scan distance settings lets you control how far the scanner detects surfaces. If there is something behind your main object, you can shorten the scan distance so the scanner ignores anything in the background. On the scan settings tab, you can choose the settings based on what you want to scan. Miraco comes with a few more real nice features. For example, if you swipe down from the top of the screen, you will find option for taking screenshots and even recording the screen. All screenshots and videos can be watched on scanner. Or if you open the settings, you will find tutorial videos that you can watch directly on the scanner. Firmware updates are easy as well. Once you are connected to Wi-Fi, you can download and install updates directly on the scanner without needing any other devices. I tried scanning different objects. These scans are quick scans and I didn't aim for the perfect scan. I wanted to see how it performs. I did scan the bust which came with the scanner. This object is the easiest to scan because it is the matte white with fewer details. And it came out great, very clean and smooth, nothing bad to say. Then I scanned white 3D printed Samurai, which has more details than last scanned object. There are some missing parts at the hard reach places, but overall it's good. This flower pot has lots of colors and details. It is difficult to scan object. Overall, it's okay. Color seems to be same as real ones. Black text on the pot is missing as the shiny parts end of the rope handles. Black and shiny objects are difficult to catch with these scanners, but if you try different settings, you can get better results like this, uh, like this RC car, wheel and bumper. If you want good results, you need to use scanning spray, or like I did, use dry shampoo to scan this RC car front bumper. I also did scan bigger things like this ATV. These blue plastic parts came out good and the capturing speed is impressive. 
scan mo models can be accessed and edited here. Scan data can be processed in the Miracle itself. This includes fusion, mesh and texture features. There is one tab edit mode also, which allows you to do all the functions at once. And you can easily clean your models with deleting unwanted objects. If you want more in-depth editing option, then the data can be exported into the Scan 5 software, either via Wi-Fi or with the USB-C data cable. Because the Miraco is battery powered, we should talk about battery life. It's equipped with 5000 mAh battery, and honestly, it lasts longer than expected. The scanning itself don't drain battery very much, it's the processing what seems to take the most of it. You can process your scans later, then you can do quite long scanning sessions. The battery is built in, so you can't swap it when it runs out, but luckily it charges pretty fast. So, what I think about Miraco and what is the pros and cons? I think the best thing is that it's a standalone scanner. Most of the scanners need to be connected to powerful PC or smartphone. I have desktop PC that can handle it, but no powerful laptop or smartphone. So, I was able to scan smaller things, but not bigger things outside my workspace. With Miraco, it isn't a problem anymore. Post processing with the scanner is also great. If you have scanned something, you can see at the spot if it is good or if you need to scan it again. Scanning flow is nice and it can capture objects fast. If it loses track, it can find track easily and without messing up your scan. If something goes wrong during scanning, you can pause and go back some steps and continue scanning. Boot up takes less than 30 seconds, and after that you can start the scanning. No need to connect cables or open the extra software. I did have only one problem. I wanted to rotate the model, but it was zooming instead. It only happened once, and after the restart, it was working fine. I think it isn't a big deal. Smart devices sometimes have these kind of errors. I think it doesn't concern comparing other similar 3D scanners I have used. It would be nice if it can scan black surfaces without coating, but other similar 3D scanners have the same problem. Also there is a learning curve. Don't think that you can get perfect scans on first try. To get best results, you need to practice and try different settings. I think it's a good choice if you want to an all-in scanner that can capture small, medium and large objects. The price could feel a little bit high, but you will get a well-built device with good features. Overall, the rubber point Miraco is a powerful and convenient 3D scanner, especially if you want to fully standalone workflow. I have really enjoyed using it, and I think it offers a lot of value for creators, makers, and professionals. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with more soon.